What is going on everybody? I, uh, if you can tell from the sound of my voice, I am a little bit sick and that's why I haven't been on YouTube here for a little bit. Uh, things have been a little bit crazy. I tragically lost a really good friend about a week and a half ago, passed way too early. His name was Patrick Juni Gutierrez. Uh, he was a competitor on American Ninja Warrior. He was a break dancer. Uh, he was really big in calisthenics. If you check out his Instagram page, you'll be able to see it. He was a big part of the We Live We Levitate movement. Um, had some amazing pics on there up there on Instagram, and I still don't know how he was able to get a lot of those. Um, and if you check out the Instagram, you'll see what I was talking about. But the other reason why I haven't been on here. And uh, you can see this uh, sore on my nose and I got a little sore over here on my ear. I came down with something called hand, foot, and mouth virus, which is a virus that normally shows up in kids, but it tore through my girlfriend's hospital. A lot of people got sick with it. And so I came down with a case. Last week I started getting a sore throat and then by the weekend, uh, I was shivering and these blisters broke out all over my hands, my feet, um, in my mouth, in my f on my face. And it was just a horrible, horrible thing. Um, not something I want to deal with again, but uh, I got through it. Uh, started taking lots and lots of vitamin A and vitamin A helps to lock a virus up in the cells and then uh, started killing it with vitamin C and vitamin D. Piper had her walk. She's feeling good. She doesn't know what's going on. What's up, Piper? What's up? You good, girl? You good, girl? You want to do some tricks for everybody? All right, all right. Sit. Down. Roll over. Oh, what a good girl you Another are. thing that's really helped me out a lot is OptiGreens. Um, wasn't able to take in a whole lot of food while I was down, but... Uh, OptiGreens is one of the best green supplements out there. I really love it. It tastes better than almost every green supplement I've ever had. Uh, loads of good stuff in here. Um, it's cold processed, means that none of that nutrition gets ruined in the processing or anything like that. It's from a great company, First Form. Um, free, full acknowledgement, I am a, an affiliate of First Forms. I'll put a link to that product in the description box below. If you want it, grab it. And if you do use that link, I will get a small commission. You will be supporting the Warrior Soul podcast. So some other things we got going on business-wise here at the Warrior Soul podcast. I am putting all of my effort into securing interviews for the podcast um, and trying to produce better content for all of you. We've got a lot of really awesome guests coming up. Uh, today, later on today, I'm interviewing Mr. Craig Ballantyne. And if you don't know who he is, he's like one of the OG online trainers. He was one of the guys who, he mentored uh, Bedros Koulian. Bedros Koulian is one of his best friends. If you don't know who he is, Bedros is a huge person in the fitness world who helps other fitness entrepreneurs to start businesses. He's the guy who started Fit Body Boot Camp. He's written books on manhood. Um, but but Craig is like one of the OGs. He founded uh, a company called Early to Rise. And uh, he's got a couple of books out there. Um, one of them we're gonna be talking about on the show. It's called Unstoppable. And that's about anxiety, how to beat anxiety. And normally when I bring on guests, it's, it's because I'm dealing with the problem that they specialize in. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to talk with Craig, not only because I'm dealing it, but also because a lot of guys in the veteran community and out there in the world are dealing with anxiety on a, a, a daily basis. And it's crippling them from being who they want to be and showing up how they want to show up. So I'm looking forward to that conversation with Craig. Another big one we've got coming up is Mr. Robert Green. He's the author of The 48 Laws of Power and this book, The Laws of Human Nature. I'm interviewing him next week uh, and I'm really looking forward to that interview. One of the benefits of having been sick is I got to read a whole lot. I got to read this book from cover to cover. 
And I have to say, it's absolutely awesome. Uh, a lot of people have misperceptions about Robert Greene. They think of him as like this kind of sinister character who is really just teaching people how to manipulate people and how to utilize power and things like that. But the truth is that we all have issues in our life um, that could be solved by the things that Robert Greene writes about. Um, knowing how to deal with other people, knowing what type of character you're dealing with, knowing what type of personality you're dealing with, and knowing and understanding the personality traits that show up in you um, is, is really important for navigating yourself in this world. And uh, if you've got a certain personality type, if, if you find yourself not dealing with people the way you want to deal with them, well, this book is absolutely awesome and I highly recommend it. Uh, we're going to get that interview up and I'm going to have a full review of the book as well, as well as Craig Ballantyne's Unstoppable. Um, and then I've got another really awesome guy coming on on the 25th. And that's Mr. Nick Kumalatsos. Uh, he was a Marine Raider. Uh, he was out there, for those of you who don't know, the Marine Raiders or MARSOC. Um, they are the Special Forces arm of the United States Marine Corps. Um, and then when he got out, he dealt with a whole host of issues. And he's got a book. Let me grab it over here. I've got it on the shelf. I just actually read that while I was sick, too. It's called excommunicated warrior um, really great book just talks about his transition out of the military and what he's doing with his business and life at the moment really looking forward to speaking to him he's got a great channel here on YouTube you guys should definitely check out um, and then finally I got to read this book finally people had been recommending it to me for a long time and this is Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. And uh, in this book, he goes through his experience in the Nazi concentration camps. Um, and it hit me really, really hard um, because what, he, what he's talking about in this book is man's ability to find meaning in suffering. And we all suffer in some way. And suffering is not necessarily a bad thing. Like We don't want to keep ourselves from going through struggles. We need hard things in our lives. But what we have to do is we have to find meaning in the suffering. And um, I'm going to do a full review on this book uh, probably this week. And uh, definitely another book that I think you guys should check out. I think every human being should read this book. Uh, it's been very impactful for me and very help for, helpful for me while I'm going through you know, complaining about these little blisters on my hands and my sore throat, uh, but sitting here in my air conditioned office, um, thinking about what he went through and what so many other people went through during the Holocaust. Um, but that's what I've been up to. That's what we're up to here uh, at Warrior Soul. And essentially what I want to know from you guys is, is what else do you want to see here? I, I've been providing fitness content. We obviously, we do our interviews. I come on, I do my monologues and things like that. But do you want more of this kind of vlog type format content? I, I, I've never been really good at it. I'm not a particularly exciting person. Most of my time is spent learning, reading, uh, trying to communicate lessons to others. Maybe that's a little bit exciting, but uh, I want to know what you guys want to see. Um, and so, uh, I hope, uh, hope you'll let me know. And, uh, with that, I'm going to get back to doing a little bit more work over here and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm getting ready for the afternoon workout, which won't be very significant considering I'm still recovering. And then, uh, I'll show you what I'm going to be put, put into my body new fuel wise, um, uh, in a little bit. So, all right, this one got herself into a mess. And she needs a bath. Middle of the day, right? So, look at that. She hates this. She hates this. All right, I just got off a killer interview with Mr. Craig Ballantyne. Uh, he's the author of the book Unstoppable and the book The Perfect Day Formula. 
Uh, he's got an awesome website out there. He's got several websites. EarlyToRise.com is one of them. And then uh, CraigValentine.com. You guys, when this episode comes out, you need to check it. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get out for All right, so normally I would go to the gym, but uh, I still got these blisters on my hands. And I think I still might be contagious. So I don't want to get anybody else sick. I haven't been in jujitsu at all this week. Um, but uh, I'm going to get some kettlebell work in and I am going to get a run in. So I'll um, show you a little bit of the kettlebell work and then uh, we'll, we'll get the run going. All right, just uh, finished a long run. Not a long run. What am I talking about? It was like a two mile run. Um, cardio's a little bit down because of the sickness and I still got the sore throat. So swallowing was uh, kind of crazy, but uh, I feel better. I feel a lot better. And now I'm gonna head up into uh, the house, get some fuel in. Uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna eat so one of the things i did to get nutrition in while i was really bad with the sore throat was i took uh first form formula one and then i um froze it froze it into these little cubes and so uh what's cool about that is i get like a little frozen treat to cool off my throat uh with some high quality protein in them um, also did it with, uh, the green juice, the greens that I showed you before the optic greens 50. Um, and then right now I'm just making some lunch. So, uh, it's not going to be anything crazy. I can't eat a lot of, uh, hard stuff right now. So it's going to be, uh, um, some oatmeal. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that oatmeal together and then I'm going to stick some, uh, uh, meal replacement powder in there also from formula one. I'm using uh, first forms level one uh, Great product um, Really digestible their protein products whether it's formula one or level one have never caused me stomach issues whatsoever. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm hungry, but again, I can't eat too many hard things because my uh, my throat's pretty still pretty bad People always want to know what my physique looks like now. I'm not a bodybuilder anymore. So, you know, it's a thing. I'm still training though. And I still think I look pretty good. I'm not like massive or anything like that. You know, keep everything down. I don't really like to show off all that much. I mean, I stay lean. I stay top of my game. But definitely not pretty like a fitness model. This face isn't going to sell too many things. All right especially with all these friggin' blisters all over the place. I've got oatmeal I've already cooked up. Uh, what you don't want to do is you don't want to stick protein into hot oatmeal, right? Remember, protein's made up of peptides. Peptides start to break down when they're exposed to heat. So what you want to do, is, what I did was I mixed it up in here first, cold water, and then had the oatmeal cooling off, right? And then I mix the protein up in here, right? Just a, a tip here, like that little bit of extra effort can seriously help you from degrading your protein. All right, so a lot of people ask me um, why I'm eating oatmeal. Okay, so why, why would you eat something like that? Does it affect your ulcerative colitis and 
The answer is actually no, it doesn't. Um, and one of the things I've been trying to do is to reintroduce foods into my diet um, just to see how they work. You know, uh, one of the things I've always tried to do is not be completely dogmatic. And, and don't get me wrong, I love being in ketosis. But um, I think there's this idea out there that ketosis should be a permanent thing. And it, it's really not supposed to be permanent. It's supposed to be something that you use every once in a while to, to get your metabolism to optimize itself in another way. Um, and so I'll have periods where I'm extremely uh, low carb and then I'll have periods where I'm reintroducing carbs uh, and eating more foods like sprouted wheat bread and, and overnight oats and things like that uh, and, and white rice um, I will say this I don't eat as much fruit um, as I used to and that's because I've noticed that that does actually have an impact on my digestion so I used to be a big watermelon eater, uh, but now I, I can't touch watermelon. It makes me it makes me really sick. Um, well, not sick, it just gives me problems. So I don't I don't deal with that. But uh, that's another big reason why I'm taking the Opti Green supplement. So yeah, this is my day, and pretty much what I'm gonna do the rest of the day is I'm working on a couple of new products. And I've got uh, a couple of podcasts to edit. So I'm going to finish lunch up over here. Um, look, guys, I really appreciate those of you who watch, those of you who comment, those of you who share the videos out. Uh, really helps. Those of you who are listening to the Warrior Soul podcast, who are subscribed, awesome. I love you all. Thank you so much. Uh, like I said, let me know what else you want to see on the show. Uh, we've got some really awesome things coming down the pike. I've got a new project I'm working on for men. It's called the Warriors Obituary Society. And basically what it's gonna be is, is a fraternity of men who are pushing each other to live absolutely epic lives that are worthy of epic obituaries. Um, it's gonna have an eight week development program and then a lifetime membership. Uh, and what we'll be doing is we'll be meeting each week We'll be pushing each other on goals, pushing each other on fitness, pushing each, pushing each other on business. And there's gonna be a lot of veterans involved, but you don't have to be a veteran to be involved. You just gotta be a man who's trying to make everything you can out of this life. So if you're interested in that, uh, just send me an email over at chris at And with that, thanks guys. Like, subscribe to the channel and uh, share the episode out if you liked it.